What is the name of the hormone that stimulates the growth of the follicle in the ovary? A. Estrogen B. Progesterone C. Luteinizing hormone D. Follicle stimulating hormone And the correct answer is D. Follicle stimulating hormone FSH Follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the growth of the follicle in the ovary which contains the developing egg. What is the name of the hormone that prepares the uterus for pregnancy? A. Estrogen B. Progesterone C. Luteinizing hormone D. Follicle stimulating hormone and the correct answer is B. Progesterone Progesterone prepares the uterus for pregnancy by thickening the uterine lining and making it more receptive to a fertilized egg. What is the name of the female reproductive organ that is responsible for producing and storing eggs? A. Ovary B. Uterus C. Cervix D. Vagina And the correct answer is A. Ovary The ovaries are responsible for producing and storing eggs. What is the name of the structure that connects the ovary to the uterus? A. Fallopian tube B. Cervix C. Vagina D. Uterus And the correct answer is A. Fallopian tube The fallopian tube is where the fertilization occurs and connects the ovary to the uterus. What is the name of the hormone that triggers ovulation? A. Estrogen B. Progesterone C. Luteinizing hormone LH D. Follicle stimulating hormone FSH And the correct answer is C. Luteinizing hormone LH Luteinizing hormone triggers ovulation which is the release of an egg from an ovary. What is the name of the process by which the uterus sheds its lining each month? A. Ovulation B. Menstruation C. Fertilization D. Implantation And the correct answer is B. Menstruation Menstruation is the shedding of the uterine lining. It occurs approximately every 28 days in women who are not pregnant. What is the name of the female reproductive organ that produces estrogen and progesterone? A. Ovary B. Uterus C. Cervix D. Vagina And the correct answer is A. Ovary The ovaries produce estrogen and progesterone which regulate the menstrual cycle and support pregnancy. What is the name of the hollow muscular organ that nourishes and protects a developing fetus? A. Ovary B. Vagina C. Uterus D. Fallopian tube And the correct answer is C. Uterus The uterus is where the fertilized egg implants and grows into a fetus. The entrance to the womb is also known as A. Fallopian tube B. Vagina C. Ovary D. Cervix And the correct answer is D. Cervix 
The cervix is the lower part of the uterus that opens into the vagina. Which one of the following is not a function of the female reproductive system? A. To excrete water B. To produce eggs C. To give birth to the baby D. To take care of the developing baby during pregnancy And the correct answer is A. To excrete water The female reproductive system is responsible for producing and releasing eggs providing a place for fertilization and implantation and supporting the developing fetus during pregnancy. What is the name of the female reproductive organ that is responsible for carrying a developing fetus? A. Ovary B. Uterus C. Cervix D. Vagina and the correct answer is B. Uterus The uterus also known as the womb is a female reproductive organ that supports and nourishes a developing fetus. It is a hollow pear shaped organ located in the lower stomach above the vagina and between the bladder and rectum. What is the name of the female reproductive organ that is responsible for producing milk after childbirth? A. Ovary B. Uterus C. Cervix D. Mammary gland And the correct answer is D. Mammary gland the female reproductive organ responsible for producing milk after childbirth is the mammary gland. The mammary glands are specialized tissues within the breast that undergo changes during pregnancy and lactation to produce and deliver milk to nourish the newborn. The process of milk production is known as lactation. What is the name of the hormone that stimulates milk production in the mammary glands? A. Estrogen B. Progesterone C. Prolactin D. Oxytocin And the correct answer is C. Prolactin Prolactin stimulates milk production in the mammary glands which is necessary for breastfeeding. Where in the female reproductive system is fertilization most likely to take place? A. Fallopian tube B. Cervix C. Vagina D. Uterus And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.